a pleasant good morning. I am Father Ivan Eldon, Associate Priest of the Parish of St. George in the Valley. Welcome to the Anglican Church Morning Devotions for Friday, the 10th day of May, 2024. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he may fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of ages. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. For our reflections this morning, I want us to look at the Gospel of St. Matthew, the 7th chapter and the 26th verse. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house upon the sun. There will be storms and trials that pass into our daily walk. No one is exempted from the storms. Storms will pass, my friends. If the threat of disaster were to come your way, would you be ready to meet it and overcome it? When Jesus told the story of the builders, he likely had the following proverb in mind. When the storms have swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stands firm forever. Proverbs 10 and 25. What is the significance of the story for us this morning? My friends, the kind of foundation we build our lives upon will determine whether we can survive the storms that are sure to come. Builders usually lay their foundation when the weather and soil conditions are at their best. It takes foresight to know how a foundation will stand up against bad conditions. Jesus began his story with a warning. We may fool humans with our speech, but God cannot be deceived. He sees the heart with its motives, intentions, desires, and choices. There is only one way in which a person's sincerity can be proven. And that, my friends, is by one practice. Fine words can never replace good deeds. Our character is revealed in the choices we make, especially when we must choose between what is true or false and good or evil. My friends, do you lie or cover up? when disclosing the truth that will cause you pain or embarrassment? A true person is honest and reliable before God, neighbor, and oneself. Such a person's word can be taken as trustworthy. What can keep us this morning from falsehood and disaster? If we make the Lord Jesus Christ and his word the rock and foundation of our lives, then, my friends, nothing can shake us or keep us this morning from God's presence and help. Jesus stresses that it is the foundation, not the building, that makes the difference. You see, sometimes we think that we must build a big house, beautiful house, or to please God. 
Sometimes we think that our lives must be perfect before we can come to God or that we won't be good enough for God. My friends, Jesus is saying here this morning that God in your life is what is most important. Having God as the foundation is what you really need this morning. Everything else is just extra. The storm is coming. It may already be here. You better have a life jacket that so you can stand against the storm. The truth is plain and simple. And you have heard it this morning. Now it's up to you, my friends. The challenge is in your hands. Are you ready and willing to build your life on the rock of faith in action? Or are you going to stay on the sand, sure, of doubt? and procrastination my friends i have one question for you this morning is the lord jesus christ and his word the sure foundation of your life let us pray lord jesus christ you are the only foundation that can hold us up when trials and disaster threaten us Give us wisdom, foresight, and strength of character this morning that we need to do what is right and good and to reject whatever is false and contrary to your will. May we be doers of your word and not hearers only this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Please share this devotion with as many people as possible. God bless.